The former senator and representative called his return to the House Science and Energy Committees an emotional moment. It was here that Al Gore began his environmental crusade. The documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, details scientific evidence of human-induced climate change. The film puts Gore front and center in the global warming debate, chronicling his environmental campaign, including the lecture he's delivered repeatedly since his presidential defeat. Gore urged Congress to act and issued a warning. And our world faces a true planetary emergency. I know the phrase sounds shrill. He told the committee that scientific studies released in the last few weeks indicate the Arctic ice cap is melting faster than previously predicted and could disappear during summers within 34 years. This problem is burning a hole at the top of the world in the ice cover. That is one of the principal ways our planet cools itself. If it goes, it won't come back on any time scale relevant to the human species. Gore is now an international environmental celebrity, but his star value did not deter his detractors. On Gore's claim that increases of carbon dioxide emissions match a timeline of global temperature increases, one Republican produced contrary evidence. Former Energy Chairman Joe Barton quoted one study that says carbon dioxide in the air naturally increases after cyclical increases in temperature. On this point, Mr. Vice President, you're not just off a little, you're totally wrong. The committees uh, should be under no illusion about what the scientific consensus is. When CO2 goes up, temperature goes up. That is why 20 of the 21 hottest years ever measured in the human record have been in the last 25 years. The 10 hottest have been since 1990. The hottest was 2005. The hottest in the United States of America was 2006. Gore urged Congress to place an immediate freeze on carbon emissions, that it adopt stricter fuel economy standards, and move up the start date for a new global climate treaty. Another Republican, Ralph Hall of Texas, questioned the cost of such measures. Today we're witnessing an all-out assault on all forms of fossil fuels and all forms of nuclear energy. Gore said the public is demanding action. I'm telling you, the awareness on this is just on a straight uh, upwards trajectory. And it's not partisan. It is not partisan. This is not a political issue. It is a moral issue. And our children are going to be demanding this. Gore received a friendly reception from Democrats who now control Congress so much, and are considering Chairman. legislation that would force reductions in greenhouse gases. Jim Fry, VOA News.